Well, hello everyone, it's Jordan Power here, and in this video, I will be exposing the damnable heresy of deconstructionism. Now, let's get started. Deconstructionism is a damnable heresy that is going to split how wide open. That damnable heresy has led millions of people astray and has destroyed millions of lives. It is a very self-centered false doctrine that has badly poisoned the church. Another reason why deconstructionism is false is that this grave, erroneous doctrine leads to apostasy, and the word apostasy means a falling away from the truth. Galatians 1, 6-9 says, our, our marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the race of Christ unto an, another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ, but though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, that him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that ye have received, let him be accursed. As Christians, we must be steadfast and live our lives to the fullest for Jesus Christ, and we must deny, or, I, I mean, we must definitely should not go apostate. The heretics who, pre who teach deconstructionism are teaching a completely different gospel that tells dangerous lies about the Bible. There are so many heretical churches that teach the damnable heresy of deconstructionism. Galatians 5, 19-23 says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Matthew 18, 6-7 says, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for, for it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Deconstructionism is all about the works of, of the flesh, which is what makes it grave heresy. We should always test our preachers' teach with scripture, so this way we don't fall for damnable heresies. The increase in heretics preaching heresies like that is indeed a sign of the end times. 1 Timothy 4, 1-5 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received through thanksgiving, of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be, rece to be refused if it be received through thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and the prayer. Deconstructionism comes from seducing spirits, since that damnable heresy tries to seduce people with apostasy and many other kinds of sin. If we use discernment, then we will stay away from heresies like that, and then if we come across a preacher who teaches such heresies, then we will stop listening to them. Deconstructionism is an extremely destructive heresy that and that false doctrine is nothing but destruction. Scripture says that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Deconstructionism steals people's hope, 
kills people's faith and destroys lives. Which is the number one reason why deconstructionism is one of the most dangerous heresies in the church. 2 Timothy 3, 1-7 says, This know also, that in the last days careless times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, um, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse dusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. 2 Timothy 3, 13-14 says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. The heretics are also getting worse as the end times go on, as we see more dangerous heresies being propagated by heretics. Because of this, we need to use discernment more than ever when we listen to preachers and when we indulge in the Christian content, because not everything that is labeled Christian is actually Christian. Using discernment means to tell the difference in between truth and lies. With the shield of discernment, we will not spy into any damnable heresies that are taught behind the puppet. 1 Corinthians 15.58 says, Are therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, uh, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. As Christians, we must be steadfast and immovable in the faith. We must stand for biblical truth, even if it is unpopular. Or we must continue following Jesus Christ no matter what the godless culture says. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Please subscribe to this channel and please share this video. And goodbye.